Hello. Thanks to modern technology, I could talk to you and sit here and watch these wonderful fireworks at the same time. Or we um, we could talk from this hotel balcony, but even better. Welcome to our campfire in the gully. Tonight we're having a campfire, which is why you can probably hear some people collecting some wood. Good place to hide. That was like really fast. Yeah, Come on, I'll say something. Well, I haven't collected much yet. That's our beautiful yeah, parrot that over there. Really Watches over the campfire. I'll say something. She's been recently painted. More about her later on. Well, someone has to provide the entertainment. Here I am talking about some books that I read when I was a child. I think the first book I read was um, a book called Mr. Smith Visits London. I don't remember much about it except that Mr. Smith was an American, I think by memory, and someone told him that London had very harsh toilet paper. So he arrived in London with a suitcase full of toilet paper and nothing else. But uh, this one, the, the Changeling by Robin Jenkins, I read when I was around 12. It was about a school teacher called Charlie Forbes, who had sympathy for a poor kid called Tom Curdy, living in a Glasgow slum, and he took him on a family holiday. But the problem was, there was no way this kid from the slums could easily fit into the middle class family of Charlie Forbes. With good intention, Charlie Forbes created a situation for Tom where he could not return to the slums. And it had a very sad ending. So, Bobby, what's your next book about? Uh, about secrets. Oh, right. So, you're not going to tell me? Oh, yeah. You'll have to read it. What's the most embarrassing thing you ever did? Most embarrassing thing? Well, when I first started to teach, I, I had 12 and 13 year old boys and the way things worked in schools in those days was pretty rough and I didn't want to do some of the things that they were doing to manage classes and whatnot. So, went into this class and they were really noisy. So I wrote on the board, as you can see, you are too noisy. Problem is, I misspelt the word noisy. And this boy in the front of the class said, Hey, Rhodes Scholar, you misspelt noisy. Well, I did, and I had to fix it. Of course, remember, it's very embarrassing. What's a Rhodes Scholar? What's the silliest thing you ever did? Well, I'm not sure that I'd really want to say some of the silly things I did, but. Uh, I guess jumping over barbed wire fences. Have a look over there. Oh yeah, cool like jumping. That. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? Well, that's, uh, you're having me on, right? Look up in the sky and what do we see? We don't see much around the campfire, but later on we'll look up in the sky and we'll see billions and trillions of stars in the universe. And here's little you and little me sitting down here, and that's all we really know. The meaning, the meaning of, of my life, life is I'm alive. I'm here with you all, and I know I won't be here forever. Probably why I like to tell stories. There's a sort of eternal theme. Enjoy life while you've got it. What's the most important thing you ever did? Most important thing I ever did was have a family. Nothing is more important than that. It's like having beautiful people like these to paint birds. So you only want family to paint birds? Oh, uh, no. Probably good for other things. All right, we believe you. Oh, yeah, family's all right. Well, if you've got this far with us at our campfire, thanks. Take care. 
read a book, preferably one of mine. Thank mm -hmm. you.